Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the fourth Alien film in the Alien franchise, Alien Resurrection. The film was released in 1997 and it was directed by Jean-Pierre Junot and it stars, of course, Sigourney Weaver with Winona Ryder, uh, Dominic Pinon, Ron Perlman, Gary Dorden, Michael Winsott, Dan Hedaya and Brad Dourif. Right, this time round, it is set something like 200 years after the events of Alien 3. And um, a military organisation decides to clone Ellen Ripley in order to um, take hold of the alien queen that she had inside her at the end of the third film. They do clone her successfully. They manage to get the queen, they get the eggs, and then they get a crew of pirates essentially led by michael winsott and his team uh, to deliver some very special cargo uh, which is human beings to play host for these aliens um, arrogantly this military company think they've got um, these aliens well contained but you and i know better and they escape uh, this new genetically enhanced Ripley teams up with these pirates in order to navigate their way off this um, ship in order to escape this new alien nightmare. Right, what are my thoughts on Alien Resurrection? Well, I think it is fair to say most people consider this the weakest of the Alien franchise. Well, certainly the, the four direct Alien films. Uh, and I am in that camp. I'm sure there are some people out there, maybe somebody who watches this, that disagrees, that really, really likes this film. Um, and that is not to say that I dislike this film. I just think this is clearly the weakest of the four films. Um, I think there are. this film does some things really, really well. Um, the idea of bringing Ripley back. I mean, initially, I think it was... Because Joss Whedon wrote this... Um, Joss Whedon's initial draft was to bring Newt back and she was going to be cloned. Um, but they wanted Ripley in the film, so they changed it to Ripley. Uh, that would have been interesting. But it, it feels like they really are stretching the Ripley character very, very thin in this film. Uh, they try and give her a new dimension by making her like genetically enhanced because she's like a hybrid, really, in many, many ways. She's got acid for blood now and she's much more stronger and... Uh, different reflexes, all that kind of stuff. So it feels like a shadow of Ripley rather than the Ripley that we knew. She doesn't. She's quite emotionless for an awful lot of this film. So it doesn't necessarily feel like the Ripley that you know. So it it doesn't necessarily feel like an alien film that you know in many regards. It's almost like. They just decided to make an action sci-fi in many ways because this, for an alien film, isn't scary at all. Um, and aliens managed to blend horror and action perfectly. Now, that was done by James Cameron, and I'm not trying to compare the directors here. This, for me, at times, the tone of this film just isn't right. You know, at times it tries to take... Um, a comedic approach that doesn't befit the film. Um, it doesn't necessarily work. Work. It almost feels cartoonish at times. But the, I don't think I, not everything is bad here in this film. There are definitely moments in this film. I think the aliens themselves look great. The designs are fine, but they don't sound right. If you like, they don't sound like you know, like the hissing that we used to seeing and hearing in the other films. They sound differently in this film, but they look pretty good. Uh, and there's other than like a couple of CGI shots here and there, like underwater and stuff like that, which look pretty good actually. The CGI is better than Alien Three, but the practical effects are pretty good as well. So you know the, 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 they work pretty well, and there are some sequences um, that I think work very well. The the scene where Ripley finds the failed cloning experiments is quite powerful and. It's easily the highlight of the film in regards to Sigourney Weaver and her performance. The underwater scene where they are being um, chased by the aliens underwater is nicely done. And it's, it's the only scene that I think really comes close to any real tension 
Um, and that extends to the part when they climb in the ladder as well. That works particularly well when they get out of the water sort of thing. Um, but for the most part, it almost feels like alien crossed with the Poseidon adventure, you know, because they're trying to get from one part of the ship to the other to escape, which essentially is the Poseidon adventure. Um, and it, it, it feels like a strange blend. Um, and it's, you know, I think it's fair to say that most people that watch this, including many of the people involved, and Joss Whedon certainly wasn't happy with the finished product. Um, he wasn't happy that they changed the ending. Um, and the fact that it wasn't made in the way he wrote it, if you know what I mean. And the less said about the human-alien hybrid that we see at the end, the better. Because that is god-awful. Um, I just I don't know what they were thinking. That alien hybrid at the end, it, 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 it just didn't work. I remember the first time I saw this film, and I saw that at the end, and I was like, I was kind of in shock that it actually they actually did it. They did that that design. It, it looked so bad, um, and it's not aged well at all. That scene and that creature, or whatever you want to call it, the design of it, I just it just doesn't work. The idea of an alien uh, human hybrid, like birth from an alien rather than you know from us. Um, is sound. I don't. I don't think the idea is bad. I just think the design of what came out was terrible. Because for the most part, uh, the aliens that are like burst out of our chests, they kind of in you know take on the um, the shape, if you like, of its host. Which is why many of the aliens that we see in these films are kind of stood like a man for the most part. And in Alien Three, because it came from a Rottweiler or an Ox, depending on which version you watch, it kind of runs on all fours and it's faster and more agile and things like that. Um, so we've always kind of had that hybrid, alien, it, human hybrid, because they kind of take on the traits of the host that they come out of. But to have one birth and then look the way it does, just for me, is, is almost unforgivable. Um, the basketball scene, you know, when Sigourney Weaver throws the ball and it lands, that's that actually happened. That wasn't effects or anything like that. Um, though there are stories that she did it in one take, which is untrue. She had multiple takes, um, and in actual fact, the last shot, I believe it was, was the one that actually went through the basket, and she's the one they used because they weren't going to do anymore. Um, so that was a real scene. Um, and it'll be no surprise to anybody watching this that initially Sigourney Weaver refused to do this film. Um, when asked why she did the film, she basically said because they, they drove a, dump, uh, a dumpster full of money to my house. So she's quite open to the fact that she did this film for money, which is fair enough. But she was quite taken with the scene um, that I mentioned, you know, where um, Ripley finds the genetically... Uh, the clones, the experiments, the failed experiments. Uh, that was that was what really interested her in doing it. That scene in particular, that was definitely her favourite scene. Uh, the underwater scene was quite difficult to shoot, and in actual fact, Ron Perlman almost drowned. He kind of banged his head and knocked himself out um, in that scene. So, Alien Resurrection. Then it's uh, it it was it's been a steady decline really after Aliens for this franchise, which I think is really a real shame. No, no film has ever really come close to the first two, uh, and that includes uh, Prometheus and Alien Covenant, um, which I may revisit the both of them to to continue this series of series of Aliens films to to do. Um, I'm I'm not convinced I'm going to do the Aliens versus Predators. I may do. If you guys want me to do those, let me know in the comments. If you want me to do Prometheus and Alien Covenant, let me know. And if you want me to do Aliens vs. Predator and Aliens vs. Predator. I can't even remember what the second one was called. I know it wasn't very popular and I've only seen it once. But if you guys want to review them, please let me know in the comments. But that, for now, anyway, is my roundup of reviews for the first four Alien films. Um, a very popular franchise, uh, very f a fantastic franchise, certainly in regards to the first two films anyway. And I did hope, I do hope, sorry, that you enjoyed uh, watching my reviews for them. So thanks very much, everybody, for joining me.